Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, and I'm doing a thing that I did last year, but I kind of, well, I went traveling, so I stopped doing. Uh, I am going to do a random premium farm that I haven't done before. Um, if the problem that I've done or uh, doing now, if the daily problem is a problem I've done before, I'm going to do one that I haven't done yet. I'm trying to get my premium money's worth, you know? Anyway, today's problem is 1026 maximum differences between Node and Ancestor. So, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to do an extra problem with Larry. Uh, also, come to the Discord and just chill, I suppose. Uh, today's problem is, yeah, given a root, find the maximum research that there exists different nodes, A and B, where V is equal to A, okay, and L, oh, and A is an ancestor of B, I guess that's the big thing, uh, okay, oh, oh you're try trying to find a maximum value, so you're not even, um, okay, so it's not even looking for a given V, okay, uh, I mean, I think this is a very reasonable problem for, um, I think if, you know, this is a contest now or even interview level, this is probably something that's slightly below the interview level. So I would definitely recommend you um, to really ha be able to not only do this, but do this very quickly, to be honest, um, you know, to give yourself the best chance. I think this is a very reasonable problem. And this one, you have to maximize uh, the absolute value. And really, the, um, when you see max, or uh, when you see absolute value, and you try and maximize it, well, then there would only. Um, so the way that I would think about it is breaking down the cases, and that is that uh, whether a uh, the previous the ancestor is going to be the max and the ancestor is the min. Those are the two things that I will consider. And with that in mind, we will start, right? Because basically the idea is that you're trying to maximize either, let's say A is the ancestor. I guess that's the definition. You're trying to maximize either this or maximize this, right? That's what, that's how we break down the absolute value um, into the two components. And that's pretty much the idea, right? And of course, here um, we store this as this is the max. If we're trying to maximize this part, then this has to be the biggest. If we're trying to maximize this part, this has to be the smallest. So that's how, and even negative, right? I don't know if that negative is an input. I guess negative is not an input, but these are the things that I would think about. Uh, and it generalizes with negative anyway, so that's why it doesn't really matter as much, maybe. Actually, is that true? Hmm. Yeah, should be true. So yeah, so basically now, um, yeah, here maybe I would, hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that now, eh, there are a lot of ways you can write it, but let's say best is you go to in. Uh, oh, zero, not infinity. That's what I was trying to figure out. So we should have an infinity. Well, you, this is ju it's just my my infinity. I don't know. It's not really a big thing. Uh, but yeah, but here then we can do uh, a traversal. So we traverse node. We want to maybe have the max, the min, um, from the previous thing, right? And if node is none, we can return. Otherwise, you know, we could do a pre-order. Doesn't really matter which order, as long as as long as you look at every node, and then yeah, non-local best best is equal to. So you want to so max. So okay, so what, what, let's define these real quick. Node is just the current node. Okay, max is the maximum max value of the ancestors, and min is or mn is min value of the ancestors. Just to be clear, just want to you know. So then now we can max either um, mx minus the current node dot value, or you know uh, node dot value minus the minimum value, and that's pretty much the idea. And then now you can transverse, trend, tra traverse, transverse. Oh my English is hard. Uh, da, 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 and then we pass it down, right? I guess we, we, we use this actually, so, and also that's not a function, but okay, fine. Uh, so yeah, so then now you could do, 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 do. And there you go. And then of course you also want to do the other side as well. Note that right. And that's pretty much it. 
uh, you want to uh, bring it to the root, you want to do negative infinity and infinity, and then we just return best. Hopefully this is right, because otherwise it's just embarrassing. It's not that embarrassing. People make mistakes all the time. Uh, but yeah, 1381 day streak. Um, th we've been doing three problems all, uh, all couple of days, I guess. It's not that long. But uh, but yeah, that's why I didn't go over the complexity. When you look at each node once, it's always going to be linear time, linear space. Um, linear space being the height of the tree, you, you, you implement stuff on the stack. Um, and that's pretty much all I have. I mean, pretty straightforward. Pretty reasonable. I solved this. Oh, that wasn't. I keep on thinking it's 2023. I was like, oh, look, I solved it like not that long ago. Oh, man, this is way more complicated. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. I guess in the past, I've done it more complicated. Eh, maybe not. I think, uh, I think it just. Oh, and this is just recursion instead. Okay, fine. Uh, but yeah. Mm. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to do an extra one afterwards. So if you want to, you know, hit the subscribe button, let's do that. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Hope everyone has a great rest of the week. I'll see you later and take care. Uh, wait. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>